Stage 9 of this year's Giro d'Italia takes place on Sunday the 12th of May. It's the first time that the riders will peak at over 1,000 metres in this Giro d'Italia, but coming midway through the stage, that climb is likely to have no effect on the overall general classification. Stage 9. This stage has breakaway written all over it, it's 170 kilometres. It's more or less a dress rehearsal for the World Championships in Florence later this year, and we should be in for quite a show today. Every opportunistic rider will have this stage red circled in their roadbook, and with four categorised climbs on the menu, this is also a great day to take some points for the King of the Mountains jersey. The first 60 kilometres from San Zapocro will be covered at high speed as the breakaway tries to get established, but it may not be until Paso della Consuma that we see the final break being formed. After this comes the steep Vallambrosa climb, where Gianni Bugno won stage 7 in the 1990 Giro. The last 6 kilometres of the climb have an average gradient of almost 8%, with parts of 12% at the beginning. The next climb is Verta di Croci, and with 22 kilometres to go from the top, this may well be a good time to test fellow escapees at the front. The gradients are high all the way to the top, and with a rest day tomorrow, we may see the GC favourites try to test each other as well. The last climb of the stage is Fiesole, which will be used on the World Championship course, and despite it only being 2.9 kilometres, its 5.7% average gradient will serve as another great place to attack. There are only 10 kilometres to go from the top of Fiesole, and even though the final 2k of the stage are uphill at 3%, it's on Fiesoli you need to attack if you want to get away. Look out for the local hero Giovanni Visconti, who is a real specialist in these kind of stages. Mark Cavendish won the last time the Giro had a stage finish in Florence, but this time a mass sprint seems highly unlikely. Except for it hosting the World Championship this year, Florence was also hometown of the Italian cycling icon Gino Bartoli, who won the Giro d'Italia three times and the Tour de France twice. His son Andrea Bartoli will be present at the finish of today's stage. There will be plenty of motivated rides on the morning of today's stage as the race heads up into Tuscany and takes in some of the roads that they'll be doing on this year's World Championships road race. The Maglia Rosa will be quite happy, I think, today to let an attack go up the road and possibly stay away until the finish with the hierarchy of the GC much more established after the previous day's long individual time trial. If you want to find out more about the other stages on this year's race, you can check them out on GCN. Stage 10 comes the day after the first rest day on Tuesday the 14th of May. Loosen the two bolts on the non-drive side crank by turning them anti-clockwise 